टॉप टेन सॉफ्टवेयर आर्किटेक्चर डिजाइन एंड डेवलपमेंट मिस्टेक्स एट नंबर टेन यूजिंग शाइनी टूल्स एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इंस्टेड ऑफ वॉट यू नीड फॉर एग्जाम्पल यूजिंग नो एस क्यू एल फॉर नो रीजन यूजिंग हडू टू प्रोसेस वन एम बी ऑफ डेटा राइटिंग थाउजेंड लाइन डेटा प्रोसेसिंग पाइप लाइन instead of a four line sql statement which will do the job essentially don't use a hammer where you need a screw driver at number 9 not creating a prototype or proof of concept a poc will help you understand your architectural challenges and requirements this small activity comes with big benefits at number 8 over dependence on unit testing have you come across a project where all unit tests were green but the application was full of bugs basic use cases were failing now how is this possible this happened because focus had shifted from making features work to making functions green and excessive amount of time was spent on doing this don't get me wrong here unit test cases are useful but they have limitations your primary focus should be feature testing and your function level tests should automatically be covered by the feature tests at number 7 ignoring version control ci cd monitoring logging backups failover disaster recovery and so on many projects have one or more of these missing you would need some of these up front while others are needed as you start releasing your software so plan accordingly at number 6 premature performance optimization don't optimize for users you don't have or will never have for example a loan management company will not have a million new users overnight it's not a social media company that would go viral overnight therefore be realistic and scale on demand at number 5 excessive focus on project management tools you need them to manage large projects however if you are not careful they can quickly turn into an obstacle and give a false sense of the project with granular data and fancy charts use common sense spend your time and effort wisely at number 4 starting with a large team you may need a large team but don't start with one create the project recipe in relative solitude review with peers as necessary and then implement with team size needed you don't want to be lost in excessive project chatter right at the beginning so start small and then expand as necessary at number 3 vague goals many projects start with a vague idea of what they want to achieve for example we would like to build a data warehouse that should take any input and produce any output this is not a goal just a vague desire its final outcome will be vague too in other words if you don't know the destination you will end up at a random place at number 2 ignoring data design it is important to define early on how your data will be structured and stored it gives you a good insight into entities and their relationships your data layout also impacts how you will access and process the data and once you have data flowing into the system data layout is much harder to change than functions that access them at number 1 overly complex architectures that are hard to maintain and harder to change they often fail and collapse under their own weight here's an example you need to query a transactional database to generate reports a simple and a reasonable approach is to create a replica of the transactional database and query it a complex approach is to export the database into a file system every day and write processing jobs on top of it 
to create the same reports. This approach is complex, unnecessary, time taking and will attract bugs. Don't fall for fashionable trends. Evaluate the problem at hand and focus on solving problems.